We live in the most interesting of times where scientific knowledge um, and data is exploding all around us and where new technologies are emerging at a pace that we have never seen before. Now um, what we need to ensure is that these technologies are actually making it into the healthcare system. That requires a tremendous amount of collaboration and that is where Ontario Genomics really comes in. Toronto and Ontario in general is a hub of expertise in genomic science. This area is probably the biggest concentration of uh, biomedical science and research in Canada uh, and I think one of the top 10 in the world. Ontario Genomics has really been the cornerstone of Ontario's and Canada's success in accelerating uh, personalized medicine bringing the right people together, the researchers, the clinicians, the hospitals, the payers, the um, administrators of hospitals to actually bring these technologies to life. Um, and we are right in the middle of that and we are really good at doing that. In 2011, Ontario Genomics helped us set up a national network of 21 academic sites across the country that provide care to patients with undiagnosed rare genetic disease. And since that time, we have been trying to find novel and innovative approaches to help these families arrive at a diagnosis. We're using genome sequencing, transcriptome sequencing, uh, and approaches like uh, methylation profiling, lipidomics, and metabolomics to approach each individual family in a customized way to help them arrive at a diagnosis. Our goal is to end the diagnostic odyssey for children and families with rare genetic disease. And to do this, we need to bring all of these multi-omic technologies to the front line uh, with respect to how these children are approached um, off from day one. I've been following families uh, for more than 10 years that are undiagnosed. And it is wonderful to see that finally, using some of these multi-omic approaches actually give these families, uh, these research participants, uh, finally give them an answer. All of the projects and programs we support require that what we call the end user is involved from the get-go. Everyone gets to leverage their funding and everyone gets to build on all the strengths that are available around the table. Dr. Ray Young's project is another amazing project that we are so proud to be part of. Dr. Ray Young is seeking ways to identify the right drug for the right patient with rheumatoid arthritis at the right time. We've been really excited about uh, some of the predictive biomarker tests that we've developed as part of the UCAN project um, that's based on a really focused set of proteins and gene transcripts that can tell us which child is going to um, develop a poor or high risk type of disease. And this biomarker panel really gives us almost a biologic fingerprint of these children and it's this fingerprint that personalized the therapy for them. So I really do think it's, a, it's a, a, a game changer in the way that we care for kids right now. Another project we're incredibly proud to be part of is the project led by Dr. Felix Vachan in cystic fibrosis. There have been a lot of developments in cystic fibrosis over the recent years and that's very exciting with new therapies coming in. But these therapies do not work for everybody. So if we can develop uh, techniques to be smarter about um, predicting who will respond or who will not respond, that will really help us in terms of guiding our care in the clinic. We want to be able to give instruments into the hands of the physicians to allow them to make a case for why this person might be responsive and should get some compensation for that drug. Right now, it's, it's complete guesswork. We don't know why one person responds and another person doesn't. So through the Ontario Genomics and Genome Canada grant, we're developing those tools that will help the physician make the correct call in terms of prescriptions. Ontario Genomics has uh, been fantastic in terms of helping us facilitate not only partnerships with scientists, but I think more importantly, uh, one of the lessons I've learned in our partnerships with them is the importance of engaging policymakers and also the industry to help us make the tools that we are developing available to society and to the families that need it. In Ontario Genomics, 
we really care about making a difference in the lives of people. And we do that by being a broker in the ecosystem and by bringing the right people together around the table. It allows all of our partners to leverage their funding, but most importantly, it allows us to accelerate the translation of genomics discoveries into practical applications that make lives of people better.